<laughs> oh, the graphics are pretty sick, man. Like, like that's like, I'd say like one big thing that they've uh, like changed. Looks really, really good. I wonder how how it's well, gonna yeah, run they're though. They they're using like Unreal Engine, right? I think so. Yeah. Just wonder what kind of like like once you actually get I'm into Lawrence, game director on Path of Exile Two, and I'm here today to talk about The Witch. Turn you uh, I'm on a black screen. To some kind of minion. There we go. I can see that. An army, the Witch is probably the class you want to pick. In Poe Two, most minions don't require summoning manually. The scepter oh, gives me hey, a couple of free yo. warriors, but it's also going to give me another resource called Spirit, which you can spend on whatever minions you want. You can see the oh. spirit bar above the mana here. That's really screen, fucking cool. The composition of your army. This is a level two area, so I can only afford one other minion. I'll pick a sniper for now. You can stay in the back with me. Hey yo. That's actually really cool. When minions die, they'll be revived automatically so long as no other minion has died recently. So before your next battle, all your minions will come back to life. Oh, so it automatically revives them. That's cool. So it's the uh around with a dedicated button. Tell them to move. It's What's... the recently so I'm assuming based on what I saw there, it's, it's the same recently tag as in uh POE one where it's four seconds. Yeah, that's what it looks like, yeah. And it didn't seem like it was out of combat either, because he was still fighting. Yeah. So it just yeah. every four seconds after a minion dies, it resubmits itself. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm that's not gonna lie. That's actually really cool. So that that I mean, it, it, assuming that we're that's, gonna, that's humongous quality of life. Yeah, and and assuming assuming that we're gonna have um we're gonna have uh like uh what's that uh, one node where minions that die when they explode like it's gonna enable um builds like the uh the hell was that that keystone. Is one, it like minion instability or something? Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, minion instability that that could like enable like I know there's there's some play styles like that that exist, but I feel like that could make it even you know more viable to be able to just have the stuff just come well, back on its own. Well, it did say recently though, right? So it means your damage would only happen every four seconds. So I'm assuming that's why they have the recently tag, so you can't. You abuse. can't do that. Oh uh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, either way, it's still really cool that you don't you don't have to resummon your minions. A specific enemy. Or even open a chest or door for you. Oh wait, what? Wait, whoa, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Or even open a chest. Dedicated button. Tell them to move to a specific location. Attack a specific enemy. Or even open a chest or door for you. That's really cool. You can make them. Imagine being temporary. the only class in the game that can Earth. open a door from range. Nice. If it kills a monster, or if it hits the corpse of a monster, it creates these bone constructs. They can't take many hits and have a limited lifetime, but you can build up a real army with these. That's really cool. While my minions are attacking, I'm going to use some debuffs on the monsters too. The first one I'm going to use here is Contagion. If a monster dies with Contagion, it spreads to nearby enemies. Okay. Each time it spreads, the damage increases. So, so it's, it's like Hex Bloom support built goes. into it? If any corpses are infected when you summon a minion from them, the minion will be infected as well. Oh, Each what? The enemy, they'll continue infecting them. It's nice to have an army of infected scorpions on your side. That's really also cool. Have another chaos debuff called ah, that's really This one does even more single target degen. If the monster is infected with contagion at the same time, then the essence strain will spread as well. This can turn into a that's... real plague of destruction. Wait, so that's just how normal ED contagion works right now. That's how what? Normal ED contagion, so. Essence Train Contagion is currently in the game in POE 1. Yeah. Um, and that's that's how it currently works, where ED, if it hits something or kills something with uh, Contagion on it, it'll just jump to the next target. Yeah, so but... I'm pretty but, sure that's how that works. Yeah, I mean, that's how that works, but I don't think you can summon Contagion minions. No, no, no. no. It did, yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't have any kind of, like, uh, minion interaction. So this is the, the minion interaction is definitely new. Yeah, which that, that's that's really cool. So you that like enables you to just go like like a poison, like some sort of like poison or like debuff build, you know. Another minion type I can summon are sick. zombies, but they require a corpse. These they don't come back to life if they die, but they're fairly tough and can bolster your minion numbers. Ah, uh, see that's what I don't like. I wish I wish the Recently summoned minions, minions tag applied to zombies. Yeah. I can order my sniper to deploy a gas arrow on the battlefield to get some damage over time. Hey. Yo, that's sick. I like that. See, so my biggest thing with minions is that, like, 
I wish current minions in PoE one had some sort of like abilities or something. Like kind of like I, I like their AFK playstyle now, where like they just do damage. You don't really have to do anything other than kind of convoke them or uh, position them in a way the way they can get the most DPS possible. Mm -hmm. But like I wish there was just like not something that you'd have to press consistently. But like situational minion specific buttons that like you press them and they do something and it either gives you like they buff your minions or they do some sort of damage or they create some sort of terrain or they put debuffs on enemies. Yeah. Or, like just something to make minions just a little bit more interactive. Interactive, but yeah. Not but not like enough to be you pressing it all the time, right? Yeah. Because sure. like at the end of the day, you're you're a minion build. You don't want to be pressing buttons 24 7 or else you'd just be you just be, just, like a, just be a self cast a build. build yeah exactly yeah so like you want you want it to be on like something on a relatively decent cooldown so you don't feel like you're pressing it all the time but you want it to be up enough to feel like it's important enough for you to press it and not forget about it right yeah yeah then yeah, maybe something like, like I, like i wish something like like that that little smoke cloud or whatever the poison cloud like yeah. maybe on release it ends up like not being that good and doesn't do enough damage to actually like make you want to press it but i like the idea of it like yeah. if that idea could be put in like poe one or even if it works out in poe two that's really sick because then it just it makes it to where you're not as afk going through the maps and it makes your minions have a little more thought process to them rather than just being i'm standing here alive and making myself as tanky as possible and i'm just completely afk all my minions are doing everything yeah else. for sure for sure yeah it'd be kind of cool too if there was like maybe like with like like mage minions or something that you could like Maybe have them cast like a like a higher level spell with the with the you know the pr the button press something like that. That'd be really cool. So yeah, no, I like the direction they're going with this. I like like I mean it is fun to AFK and just watch your minions kill shit, but it gets boring after a while too. So like I think having that having that be a playstyle is fine. Yeah, and I think even even in a world where like this type of skill is in the game. Like where you don't really need to do it while you're mapping or something, but like maybe it's enough damage to warrant you pressing it on bosses like that or even really tanky rares. Yeah, like that. That's already good enough, right? Because like it doesn't feel like you have to press it, but it's just good damage. So yeah, you, it just helps you. It you just like it you increases your clear. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Now I'm going to summon a skeletal arsonist. They can skeletal. throw little fire grenades, but they also have a command skill that can detonate your own minions that are low on life. Oh, that's cool. When you see the red indicator, use the skill and the minion will go boom. It's particularly nice on these bone constructs because they expire quickly anyway. So, oh, let's take nice. all these tools we found and fight the boss of this area, the Carrion Crone. Oh, dude, that, that boss looks cool as shit. She looks like a like a like a Witcher uh, boss. I like I like these the, like the boss all part stuff like that. It makes boss fights feel less. Uh, it makes it feel less like you're just killing an empowered monster. Yeah. Like the so problem I have with it, Boe one. You can get at level two, but let's see what minion gameplay looks. Pause. Like. What, were you, what were you saying? The problem I had with Poe One was that, like, not that you couldn't tell that you were in a boss fight or something, but like, it wasn't like the the UI wasn't set, like a significant enough change to make it feel like you were fighting a boss. It just felt like you were fighting a, a like a an empowered rare or something. Yeah, the only yeah. thing that would really make you feel like you were fighting a boss in Poe One was the stage change. Yeah. So like, you went into the boss's arena, but like, like okay, you know that boss. That summons the uh like the wolves, not the wolves. Um, well he does summon wolves, but he's like, ah, crap, I don't remember what he's, like, he's in like Act Seven, I think. And you go to you go to fight him after you get out of the lair, and he's like like a whole like a, a bunch of humans swarm you while you're waiting for him to spawn. Yeah. And then a wolf spawns. You fight the wolf, and then he spawns. Like, dude, ninety nine times out of a hundred, but he I don't even notice he spawns. Yeah. Like I don't even like by the time I'm done killing him, I'm like I didn't even know that was a like. I knew it was a boss fight because I was at a boss arena. Yeah. But I didn't feel mm. the significance of the boss himself. Whereas yeah. I feel like with this, it's much more significant. Like, you know, you're fighting a boss. Yeah, which is cool. And having a big health bar, yep. like, to signify yep. that you're fighting a boss. 
Yeah, that's what I was going to say, say too. Is I really like that the, the health bar above and it lets you like you can see your debuffs because that's like the biggest gripe that I have with one of the one of the bigger gripes that I have with playing Poe One is that you you don't really have a way to check like your debuffs and like things on the boss without like you know hovering your mouse over their health bar and it's like it's really annoying if you're like a squishy build that can't afford to stand still right because like you know that that second you stop to hover your mouse to see like what's going on with the boss like that could be the second that you die you know so like, yeah having the having the health bar be like static and it being <clears> big <throat> enough for you to see and it's like impactful enough to it's just right there to see and you can see all the debuffs and buffs and all that other stuff is that's yeah. really nice yeah no I, I like that a lot too i think it's a really really good idea to to, to do that but I see the great or the green item. I wonder, I wonder what that means. I wonder if that's like going to be like a set item or something. No, I don't believe so. Green items are currently in POV one as well, but they're like quest items. What really? Yeah, you never noticed that. No. Yeah, green items in POV one are exclusively quest items that drop on the ground. What? What quest items drop on the ground in Poe? Oh, okay, like the literally, literally, like okay. So for instance, uh, like Kashava Star, Kashava yeah, Star. Um, okay, yeah, like Eyes of Zeal. Whenever you go to get that, that's I mean, right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Eyes, Eyes of Zeal. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and everyone, everyone always links that shit in general chat to look because they look like balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, all right, all right, cool. Yeah, hey, I, 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 for sure, I saw the green. I this minions you can get at level two. My, Let's see what minion gameplay looks like at a higher. Your D three brand activated. activated. Exactly. I want to try a different group of minions. I still have my trusty warriors, but there's a lot of different types to choose I see from. Storm like mage. Brutes for stunning or ice mages for freezing, and most of them come with their own special a abilities or skills. Oh, okay. That's for really... now. I'd like a couple of storm mages to shock enemies, a cleric to heal and revive my minions. And a bunch of Reavers as well. Reavers do high damage, and you can also enrage them before battle. This slowly kills them, but my cleric should be able to keep them alive. While my minions are attacking, I can use channeled skills like Bone Storm, which creates a devastating volley of sharp spikes. Oh, that's cool. The Storm Mage has a useful ability if lots of your minions die. He can summon a Lightning Storm to strike the location of every dead skeleton in your army. Oh, that's cool. Just like that. We also have a type of skill called Offerings. These let you impale one of your skeletons on a big spike of bone in order to buff all of your other minions. Oh, that's fucking okay, cool. Are okay, you pause it real quick? Yeah. One, I've just used here. one of the um, one of the biggest gripes I have with current iteration of minions is that it doesn't feel like they're very diverse. Like in I mean, PoE one, you have your you have your skeleton minions. Yeah. They hit stuff. You have your zombies. They hit stuff. Yeah. You have your like your golems. For the most part, they hit stuff. Yeah. Like it doesn't feel very diverse. Like I know you yeah. have skeleton archers, but they, they have they they just don't do any damage yeah. because they have a hit debuff on them from like multiple patches ago that still haven't been reverted. Yeah. Uh yeah. so they're they're just really bad. And the skeletal mages are like okay, but they're so bland. They just shoot out like <clears throat> basic colored projectiles and that's it. Like yeah. I want if I wanted a mage skeleton, I I expect him to not to look as cool as if you were playing a mage yourself. Yeah. Like, because obviously you want to incentivize actually playing the character yourself, but like I expect them to be something. Like I want them to use some sort of unique spells. Yeah. Or unique skills, and maybe you can change them out to do different types. Like you don't have to have like just a um a skeletal mage that does uh lightning. It can do like meteors, or it can do fireballs, or yeah. it can do uh you know glacial cascade or just just some variants so that it feels fresh and fun to use those skills rather than they're just using basic colored yeah. projectiles yeah. and that's it that's it. like it's yeah. just every minion feels so samey yep. in uh yep. in poe one yep. and i think that's why everybody loves specters because why everybody is wants to do is they just want to do a specter build all the time why because specters are different each yep. individual specter does its own thing There's and that's different fun things. and exciting yep. Yep, yep, yeah, and that's that's honestly why I wanted to do a Spectre build initially when we when we set out to to do, to make the Carrion Golem build. That was initially was what my plan. My character's name is literally Grom Spectres, but then like once I like saw more into it and I saw like what the Spectre build was, I'm like, ah, eh, this doesn't really seem like the idea that I had. It's basically like because you know what the Spectre build is, right? You just you just stack like the 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 projectile guys and you just get like returning projectiles. You get like 
uh, GMP, and then you just like it's just like shotgun shit. Like that's like the whole idea. Yeah, and then, like and like don't get me wrong, but it is technically a new specter, and like you're doing something quote unquote new, but it's just more of the same. In my opinion. Exactly. It's just, Agreed. It's more more minions shooting basic projectiles yeah. that return to you. Like they look kind of flashy at first, but there's nothing different. It's it's the same thing with a different coat of paint. Yep. Yep. No, and like, I, I just I wish it was more unique. Like, oh, dude, there was one specter that I thought would be really sick, but ended up having too high of cooldowns. Um, I think it was like something of the drowned or something, and it would like summon these huge water balls, like huge like balls of water, and like it would like go and throw them at creatures, and then it would like teleport and become like a whirlpool and everything. I'm like, dude, that's so. Oh, sick. that's cool. Then, yeah. But then they just had their cooldowns were too high, and it's yeah. like. Yeah, you could probably, if you like put a huge amount of investment into it, you could probably still make them quote unquote kind of work, but they're just not. It's not worth good. it. You're, you're, you're better off yeah, just yeah, investing like, your currency in something else. Yeah. So, like, well, we did have. I wish, I wish it was stuff like that would be like the, 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 I don't know. I don't even say like that doesn't even need to be the baseline level of minions, but like having the ability to the make option. them usable or just yeah. having something like that is just so sick. Yeah. Like, that's what makes, that's what makes them fun is them being unique. Yeah. And I think having, like, I don't know what the rest of the mages are going to look like, but assuming they keep on point here where it's like the Skeletal Mage of Stormbrand or whatever that one was called, yeah. there's going to be other ones that shoot different abilities and, like, they just functionally look and function differently. Um, that's going to be sick. Because yeah. if that's the case, that's that gives you minion diversity and not just in the, the coat of paint your minions are currently standing in. Yeah. Like, the, when you're playing skeletons and zombies, functionally they feel exactly the same. They feel exactly there's the same. Yep. No, there's almost no difference. It's just yep. one's temporary and has less HP, and the other one's permanent. Like just they, they do sack, the same thing. Yeah. They, they're both just auto attack. Yep. Yep. No. Yeah. I. I. I agree. And um, there was there was something I was going to say. Oh yeah. I mean, so we did have an affliction league. We did have the the one um. The one specter, I forgot what his name was, but the guy that would like summon that big ass wave, but it was just, it was so obnoxious to play with because it just, the wave just covered the whole screen and you couldn't see freaking anything. It was like, do you know the guy I'm talking about? <laughs> I think I do. Yeah. He was like, I, I forgot, I forgot what his name was, but he was super expensive too. Like if that dude died, I, I think like to buy one of the corpses was like twenty div or something or thirty div. It was crazy expensive, but he was like so. And to strong. be fair, every everything in that league was. Gig yeah, because, yeah, because yeah, because of made so much currency. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I was getting divine drops in the campaign. I was like, "What the heck is this, bro?" Like, and like affliction. Affliction was so good. Yeah, I loved affliction. Yeah, I, yeah. I liked affliction. I, I think I, I feel bad. Honestly, like I feel bad for the people that their first league was affliction, and then they played this league, and they're probably oh, like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> that was such a huge like." Affliction was a league that's never really happened ever before, where the yeah. economy was just like everybody has currency. Yeah, and then you go into Necropolis, where like nobody has money, nobody has currency, <laughs> and then yeah. on top of that, the economy just completely tanked because the the league mechanic and the base changes they made just broke the game entirely. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you went from like one of the best, most creative leagues to literally the worst league. Yes, yeah. that's, that's yeah. A, yeah. Uh, I feel I, I I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people like just straight up quit the game after that that they were new players like their first league was a fiction uh, and the second say, league I would say that it was really unlucky that they had Necropolis when they did because Necropolis was like the the interim between D4's most recent stuff and then yeah. D4 still being bad. Last Epoch so, hasn't released a season yet and that so like, here's, I don't think that their new season comes out soon but like they they were you know, Acropolis was like the like patch that was supposed to like be hey there's nothing really else to play for ARPGs right now yeah. uh, if you haven't tried unless you want to play Grim now's Dawn the perfect, <laughs> now's, yeah, well, yeah nobody's playing so like <laughs> hey hey you're, like, those you're, two like, people hey. are gonna be very upset by your comment well I mean <laughs> is what it is fam uh, sure, like I get more players to play your game than I guess yeah but uh there's um like. PoE Necropolis was supposed to be like, hey, there's not really much else to play right now. P- uh, D4 is currently uh, is still pretty bad. It's not really doing very so, well. So here's the um, thing: they're new. So so to comment on that, the and well, I'm saying I'm saying before this current league that came out for D4 because this oh, current league that came out for D4 was not out when Necropolis released. Correct, correct. And they and I think so, I think PoE like lost was a lot. Still in a pretty bad state there. Yeah, it was, it was, and I think I I was was um so there's this guy i follow i i still follow him from when i was uh or i'm sub to him when i was doing d4 content 
And um, he put out like a, you know the the league review, like the the, the latest or the latest season that D four just released, and like like everyone is like super positive about it. Even like people that were like, they're like one, I saw a bunch of comments where they're like, yeah, long term POE player, and he's like, after this train wreck of a league, like I'm playing D four. So it's like I think yeah, POE I lost think a lot the, of players to D four this league specifically. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying is like the Necropolis League, where like the timeline that it released in, this was this was the time for this league to be good. Yep. Because yep. D four was in a horrible spot. Uh what was the other one that I said? Last, last epoch. Last epoch. Last epoch hadn't had its new season come out yet, which yep. I think is slated to come out later this month. I think. Yeah. I, I, did month, you, I did you play last last epoch at all? I didn't I didn't play it when it first came out. I I figured for me, ARPGs, almost all of them without fail within the first like year of them being released. It's just the entire first year is just quality of life changes. Yeah, yeah. So like in my opinion, when I play an ARPG, I just try to let it be out for a little while because then if it survives the first year, that means that the developer team actually cares about their game. They have enough of a player base to warrant the developer team working on the game yeah. and that they've probably worked out most of the quality of life stuff by the time I joined and I don't have to worry about uh, you know, being really upset with stuff that I'm going to have to grind repetitively. Like, for instance, like if I grind repetitively on something and I have to do an extra couple hours every time I go to do this because it hasn't just the quality of life hasn't hit yet. Yeah. Like I'd rather just skip that portion. So it's like personal preference. I know everybody else wants to like jump on a game, right? Yeah, no, I mean, I played it. You want to, you want to, for sure. I played it, but it's just, I I don't know. It it just feels unfinished. To me, last epoch feels like, d4 before they're before they release their season it just feels like the the base game like the early game the story is it's it's okay and the story's kind of bland but like it's cool there's like different choices there's different paths you can take like it's not like it's not like linear so you can go through like different ways and depending on which way you go you'll like fight different bosses and stuff like that so that was pretty cool but um once you get to the end game it's just it, it just feels empty man it's just felt well, like the, the problem is like especially as someone that's played poe you're gonna play a fresh arpg and you're gonna be like Okay, now what? Right? Yeah, there's exactly. Just, yeah. There's just not enough meat because you've been, you're playing a game that's been out for like 15 years or whatever, yeah. and it's got league upon league upon league upon league, and it's they the way Poe integrate reintegrates old leagues, so you have so much content is like you just can't compare that to a new ARPG. Yeah, so no, like can't. before I before I play a new ARPG and I get myself you know all hyped up for it, and then I end up letting myself down, I let it usually sit for about a year. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more, depending on uh, the news around the game, and then I'll then I'll hop in. Check I feel it like out. It's, got yeah. enough, it's got enough meat on the bone for me to be like, okay, this will this will keep me interested for a little while. For sure, for sure, yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah. That, that's kind of I I kind of wish I'd done that for last epoch because like the game is gorgeous, like the just the way the game looks, the way the game plays and feels. Like I was I played a uh, uh, I think it's I think it's called a sorcerer in that game. I, I can't. It's like the mage class. Um, and then I went like a, I went like a full ice. I basically made like a uh, like a D two uh, frozen orb sorcerer basically, and and it was really fun to play. It was super fun, and it was um it was pretty strong. I mean I mean I I hadn't seen other, any other build. I just made my own build, but like it felt it felt good. Like I blasted through like like uh, <laughs> uh, mobs. I would just blast through bosses. I killed pretty quickly too. So. Um, but yeah, I just like once you get to the end game, it just you know like. But yeah, you're right. Like Poe's just got so much stuff; it's really hard to compare uh, a new ARPG because there's just there's not just not enough content. So yeah, I, you just got to give it time. Yeah, um, for, for sure. For sure. And now, to be fair, there's other people that can just hop right into it and not worry about that. That's just I guess it's like mainly for me or anybody else that thinks like me is like you just use I I personally compare. So like when I play another game, I'm going to compare it to like the best that I've played of previous iterations of the same game. Correct. So if or I go similar. to play RPG, I'm just going to play, I'm going to compare it to like what I play in PoE. Yeah. And if that's the case, I'd rather give it a fair shot since I know that my bias is going to be towards it. So I'm going to be like, okay, I know I'm going to be biased. I know I'm going to compare right away. So like, let's give it a, what I consider ample amount of time for it to really live up to what my expectations are going to be of this, this genre. And for then, sure you know kind of cut down from there yeah that, that makes sense that makes sense all right let's go back into the video let's let's watch this that but this is really cool that like the freaking the the offering how it just impales the skeleton like that's super cool it makes all of my other minions faster and deal more damage After yeah so far i'm liking the diversity of the minions we don't want yeah to go to waste profane ritual consumes a corpse to create a power charge which can power up some of my other spells if I use them to summon zombies, I can create super zombies, which are more powerful. 
You also don't need a corpse to summon them. Oh, that's cool. Are they temporary though? Can you have super zombies on top of regular zombies? If they're permanent, that's uh, I mean, even if they're temporary, that's so. I, can I guess also it's so use kind power of cool. charges to channel bone storm. If I do that, that's a devastating AOE. Oh, that's kind of cool. No, I'm I'm digging Bone Storm like D4 Bone Storm, so that's a little. It looks cool, but a D4 Bone Storm, so like it's so badass. It's like circles around you. It's like a, like a whirlwind of bones. Yeah, it look. It honestly looks kind of similar to D3. Pretty devastating. Like the Sparadon and Paler. There's a wide variety of abilities and is pretty tough to defeat. But maybe I can put the body to a better use. Oh shit! We're gonna resummon it. Bind Spectre Gem. Using it, I can take the body of any enemy and capture its spirit so that I can keep it as a minion. Any monster can be captured, but the spirit cost depends on how powerful the monster is. So is spirit like it something spirit that you such can... a powerful enemy, so I'll have to unsummon a lot of my other minions, but it certainly... So it's... It, it's oh, it... okay, so spirit is like a permanent resource. It's not something that you regen. And I'm assuming that, like, as a necromancer, you invest in having more spirit to be able to summon some more more, more minions. Yeah, so it, it's it, it's it's like having a mana bar that doesn't regenerate. Correct. It, it's like and, and the minions are what it's like your mana reservation is what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah. It's essentially like yeah, it's essentially just reserving your spirit to summon more minions. So it's not like a mana bar where like it's going up and down based on cast. Okay, I get it. That's actually kind of sick. Yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm assuming like you invest into it via like gear or the tree to have more more spirit. More. Yeah. I, I really like that because that gives you more control on how many you can summon. Not like, so for instance, you're not gated I, by gear. I, I, yeah, I hate referencing so much, but like, like comparatively to POE one, um, where like the number of minions that you can summon are either static and you can't change that or they're changed via, um, like the level of the gym. Which yeah. is can usually be pretty hard to do. Now this seems like you have way more personal control over the amount of minions that you can have outside of doing like really in game crafting or something like that to try to pseudo jump the level up of the gym. Yeah. Which in my opinion is really good. It's like way more casual friendly. You get to have and it doesn't just apply to that gym either. Spirit's kind of universal for all the, the minions, so that's really sick. Yeah. I like that. Well and also too, it sounds like what you can do as well is you can you can um like if you wanna go like Maybe instead of having like an army of minions, you want to have like, you know, two or three like really big strong dudes. Like you could do that as well, which is kind of cool. I'm assuming it's going to have something similar to POE 1 where there's going to be like really end game crafting too, where it's so you won't be like locked out of maybe doing two or three really big ones. You could potentially like hyper invest into having multiple of them. Yeah. You know, maybe at the cost of like the strength of your other minions or something. But yeah. Um, assuming it still has that kind of scaling and that kind of end game crafting mechanic to it that's going to be i mean it's going to be really sick to play around with it hopefully it's uh something that's really easy to get into like with uh like if it's on gear and or other items and the uh skill tree that's going to be sick yeah yeah no i'm i'm, I'm excited this is, so far i've liked everything i've seen so far with this if the spectre dies just like any other minion it will respawn after a short time oh that's cool oh it resummons the spell that's sick yeah that's really sick now, I wonder if the Spectre gets to use all the same abilities. Like in uh, POE 1, they usually do. So, yeah. I think it's time to fight the boss of this area, Tor Gull the Defiler. You are relentless. And that makes you predictable. Just a, a small notice here, real quick. Um, something I find that's really interesting about these uh, videos, which I think is really good, like they did a really good job on this, is uh, not only are they showcasing the summoner specifically and all the minions and like how they're used and blah 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 um they're also showcasing the bosses at the yeah. same time yeah. so it's not like they're not making multiple videos of being like here's this boss and all his abilities and then here's this boss and all his yeah. abilities and here's this you know specter gym and blah blah, blah. like they're not milking it's, uh, it it's kind of all, yeah they're kind of all coalesced into the same thing and it, it feels like natural like you naturally progress is like here's we're going through the area. Here's your new gym. Look at this thing that you're killing that's not that strong. And then here's yeah. this one that is kind of stronger. So we're going to use this gym. And then now we're fighting the boss with everything that we've learned. Like it's a it's a very good uh, informative video that gives you kind of more than what you're just looking at. Like it, this is this feels more of a POE two with with which uh, showcase rather than just a witch showcase. Like it's showing you more of the game yeah. on top of just. Uh, which, which yeah. is really nice. I, re I really like yeah, it. Yeah, I, I like it too. I like the way they did this video a lot. 
Oh, that's cool. Oh, that looks sick. Okay, that started out way different than I thought it was going to be. Me too. <laughs> you know what this guy looks like? He looks like the um the dude from DS3, from Dark Souls 3, the the big uh big skeleton guy. I can't remember what his name is. You know the guy you I'm know, talking about, so right? Lost. The one that I he, kind of do, but yeah, I, I'm so well, I haven't played D3 in forever. He's the, he's the one where it's like you, when he summons his like hands come out and he's got and how you kill him, you have to hit the rings on his hands. I can't remember the name of the boss, but but that's what this dude looks like. And, oh, Dark Souls Three! I don't know why I thought you meant um, uh, Diablo Three. I thought you meant something else. Yeah, I thought you meant Diablo Three. Yeah, Dark Souls Three. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, in Dark Souls. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh my. Yeah, he's freaking sick. Just took out like half of the minions. I like the mechanics of the boss. It's like it's interactive. Like it's it's not just okay, like just stand here and blast this guy down. Oh, I oh. like the uh, I like the animation of the boss. Yeah. It looks very uh looks very smooth. Yeah. Like, the, the boss itself feels very dynamic. Like, every attack it does, it doesn't feel like it's doing that animation just for the attack. It looks like the entire boss is, like, moving kind of with the attack, which yeah. it makes it feel more real. Like, this year, yeah, like, you he, see how he's rotating he's his body yeah, he's like, out right Yeah, there? he's climbing, yeah. Yeah, like, the body, like, the boss looks dynamic the way it's moving, so the attacks feel more real. They don't feel, they don't feel gamey. Yeah. That guy's crazy looking. What's what's really cool too about the minions auto summoning as well, and it, and it not using your mana it just allows you to be able to also do other things, right? Because like that was that was one of the problems with playing minions is that like you couldn't really like cast any other spells, right? Especially if you're going like all in on minions because like you wouldn't have any mana or very little mana because you'd be reserving it all for aura. So it's really cool that they have a, a, a separate. Um, resource to just for minions I yeah i do like the um it, it definitely allows you to, to cast spells on top of summoning your minions which is very nice yeah, yeah. um i think that that's that's really good uh giving you the option to do that i'm sure there's going to be like auras and stuff later in the game that are going to reserve your mana but that's going to be like a, a cost benefit analysis right for just sure. whether or not it's worth it to cast spells. If, it, if it's assuming, worth it assuming that you can it's that's super sick it allows you to do more than just kind of be essentially a glorified aura bot Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. Well, not to mention, and and the way uh, gyms are set up in this game, it doesn't go into your gear, so you don't have to worry about like sock and starvation as much. Yeah. How do you get gems in this game? I saw that they're in the side. So, like, what determines how, how many gems you get? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I just know that the gems don't go into your gear. I they saw. They go into yeah. like a specific gem window. Yeah, I saw. Like that. if you want to go, if you want to go back, you can kind of bring it up onto the screen when he was talking about the Spectre gym because he pulled up the gym did. list and then he put the Spectre in. Yeah, I I saw that. Well, I I saw a couple it was, times. It was right after where you're currently at here. If you go just a little bit forward from where you're at right now. Oh yeah, should, I yeah, see right it. There. I see it. So, so like, like this, these slots he has, here like, where you actually, are for support gems. Yeah, so that where it says skeletal cleric, that's the gym itself in the big circle on the left hand side, and then the support gyms are the ones that go into the right. Got it. And so, and can you and you can change these out? I'm assuming, like you can change these to different. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, because yeah. watch right now. If I don't know if he's changing it right now, but he actually shows that he puts like changes a skill gem out for the specter skill gem. Oh, is he un is uncut support gem? So like click player enemy and capture its spur. Click what? Oh, maybe, oh no, go back a little bit because he just pulled out the gym and he put in the Spectre gym. So let's play here. There's a wide variety of abilities and it's pretty tough to defeat. Here in a second, uh, he should show you. To a better use. This is so a right here, gem. there's the Spectre. It, I can take the body of yeah, he took, yeah, see, you see how he took out that so skill gem and put the Spectre skill gem in? Yeah. Any monster can be captured, but the spirit so yeah, I, I don't know if, is. um, you go ahead and pause it here. It um, I don't know how many skill gems you get because he kind of doesn't show it here. Um, I haven't been keeping up super hard with all the PoE two news. Yeah. Um, but I know that like that's the entire system. You're not supposed to have sockets on your gear anymore, which is really nice. I, yeah. 
as yeah. much as I love sockets, I hate sockets. Yeah, um, it's a pain so in the ass. Having it too. be in a separate window is super nice. Yeah, it's and it's it. I mean, that's I mean, that's the biggest gripe too. Like one of my bigger gripes with Poe uh, one is this like you know if you find like an awesome piece of gear, but maybe it's like not the color sockets that you would normally get. Like let's say you're a you know you're a a, a, a caster build and and you find a you know you find a dex base item that's really good. The stats that you want, it's like fuck trying to get the sockets that I want. This is gonna be like a pain in the ass, you know. Yeah. So, but a lot of spirits. Yeah, that's a cool. Powerful enemy, so I have to unsummon a lot of my other minions. But it certainly seems like it might be worth it. it certainly seems like it might be worth it. Yeah, that's that, that's really cool, man. I'm 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 excited. I think I seeing this this makes you really really excited because like the the other Poe two content that I've seen so far has been like I've kind of it. I've kind of been hit or miss like it, like this is like actually seeing gameplay and it 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 to me it seems like it it's going to feel very similar to PoE 1. You know what I mean? Like like I was I was scared that yes, they were going to make it yes a little and bit Yes no. Yeah. I think the game is going to be quite a bit slower than PoE 1, which is a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing because it's going to be different than PoE 1, but I don't think it's going to be so slow that it's going to be like, you're just not going to want to play it if yeah. you don't like that. Yeah. I think they, they did say that you're going to scale up and you're going to have ways to make the gameplay faster. It just They don't want it to skyrocket like PoE 1 has, Yeah. Um, which I understand. So like there, it, it, it means that players that like to go fast aren't going to be like, there's no there's nothing in the game to allow them to do that. It's just not going to be as as fast as crazy yeah, as yeah. poe one is yeah. so it it the game could end up being better for those types of players of the late game just maybe not as much as they want and that's why i say it's kind of a good thing too on top of it being a bad thing because they're gonna have poe one and poe two do um intermittent uh releases so you're gonna have poe one release and then halfway through that uh expansion you're gonna have poe 2's expansion release and then halfway through that expansion the next poe one expansion is gonna release so like you're gonna have both games to hop in between, and if you don't really like the one, you can always go to the other. Go to the other for so. sure, for sure, and then, and that's that's really cool that they're keeping support for for both. And I'm I'm hoping that you know once Poe two is done, that you know that they, they they get Poe one gets more love because right now I feel like it's just yeah there's, in the back there's burner. no there is no way I'm not I don't care what it, the developers themselves could come and show me footage and I wouldn't believe them. That POE one is not on the back burner for POE two. I agree. And, yeah. and there's there's no way. And don't get me wrong, I understand. I get it. POE two is like kind of the hype news that you're you're bringing a lot of players into, and it needs more work than POE one. But they're losing a lot of reputation on POE some of these POE one leagues that have been pretty bad. Yep. Um, yep. I'm hoping this next league they take their time and really think of something innovative and do not have as many problems as they have had with this one that they just released with the necropolis but um uh, i mean it, it is it, we're just gonna have to wait and see right yeah um they, they did a pretty good job with affliction all things considered they did a pretty good job yeah with no i agree one of, the, I, one of my favorite leagues yeah i liked affliction a lot and and i and i like trial of the ancestors too i didn't really care for the league mechanic itself but i liked the league the league was fun i had a lot of fun playing it um I just like this league was just like I think the only reason why I played the league as long as I did was because I just really enjoyed playing my build. I like my build, but like the maps just felt horrible. Like the random, you know, um, you know, Lantern of Aramor things that would just, you know, kill you out of nowhere. Just get bad mods. It's I don't know, man. The whole the whole design was just super, super complicated. Yeah, there was just there was just in my opinion the POE one team probably just isn't getting as much love as it needs. Yeah. Um, the the over the overhaul that they did to the entire game was probably just too much for the team to I handle agree. with I the agree. short time that they had. I agree. And that kind of shows with the fact that they had to delay the release of Necropolis like quite a bit. And it still came out like it was. Like yeah. imagine if they released it on the, the scheduled time frame that they were supposed yeah, to. Yeah, it would have been it fucking been crazy bad. Yeah. yeah. So I, I I don't blame anybody. I, I get it. POE two needs to have a lot of help with it, but I'm just I'm really hoping that POE two comes out and it's really good, and then they can immediately hop on a POE one to really breathe some uh, some fresh air and a POE some yeah POE some life back struggling. into it. Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Hit hit um, the hit the shockers. The, the the what are those things called? The defibrillators. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna need something. I don't yeah. think POE one's like completely crashed and tanked and it's not good anymore. I think it's good. 
I, th- I just think that the PoE one team is stretched thin because of the all the resources they're putting on PoE two. Yeah. And like I said, even with it being stretched thin, they've still had some pretty banger leagues in yeah. between uh, some pretty bad ones. But yeah. the bad ones have just been hitting so bad. And I think the main reason why Necropolis hit so bad is because they tried to create a new league mechanic with all these new crazy stuff, but the, and then they also overhauled a the whole, huge the base game base portion of the yep. game. Yep. On top of that, and it's like. Man, when you guys were focusing on just the league mechanic, that was already hard enough. You know, like you you got it right with Necropolis, I don't know, Necropolis with uh with Affliction, and yeah, you know, like you missed on like a Calandra. So like you're already hit and missing with just the base, like, not the base game, but the uh, the uh, the league mechanic stuff, and then you try to overhaul the entire base game too. I just I, I just think it was too much. It was too yeah. much to do in one league for the current I game. I agree. Yep. Yep. Cool, man. Well, that's well, that's awesome. Well, thanks for joining me. That was this was the, this was fun. So.